first I'll check safety settings. Advanced. And check that it's on any time. That's good. Because I will check if the emergency propeller stop will work. And then we can take off. As you see, I haven't cut the lawn for a while just to ensure a soft landing. And let's go above the carpet. And I guess now is a good time. So if I press both of them down and in. Okay. Not exactly where I hoped for, but still, <laughs> it worked. Let's try once more. I think I'll take it even lower now. And since it tends to go a little bit backwards, let's do it here then. And let's see, then I'll do it again. Let's see what happens. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's how it works. It goes a bit back, backwards and then it shuts down. Let's take one test more. And what happens now? Shut it both down and in. Okay. In land where I hoped for, but still it does what it says, but I have to hold in one to two seconds before it actually stops. I see that I probably should have turned off and turned on the drone after the crash because now it says gimbal motor overloaded. It really doesn't matter for the test, but in a way, it's not good. Now I'm doing down and in. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah, still complete, but I won't take any more chances.